Hey y'all, hey Sagittarius, Sagittarius, I just did this reading just like, I wasn't even going to do another reading because I know, right, that's like three readings in one day, <laughs> but in lieu of, of all these past energies showing up in the readings, I was like, can we take a look and see at, you know, something future-minded or something some future energy especially um I asked for past people to not be in this reading okay so this is definitely for those of you who are single who are moving forward and looking for new love and open for new love um and definitely I would say for those who are moving on from a past person you know, I really felt that after today's reading. Um, don't mind the dog. She barks. That's what she does. <laughs> but, yeah. So, you know, this would be specifically for those who are looking to move on to new opportunities in love. Okay. And this, I did call for this to be future energy. So, this might not be happening right now. Um, so, I'll also pull... A timing card um, so you can have a little look-see and I will also do an extend it for this reading and FYI um, extend it readings are six dollars okay which so it's much cheaper than a personal reading and um, so yeah so just saying <laughs> just saying so and and surprisingly enough some future energy did come out Okay, and I kind of feel like um, maybe we'll start to be seeing this like, you know, after the full moon. Okay, the full moon's on Saturday. Oh, just saying, just saying. So if you're interested in personal readings, I do always offer personal readings and you can find that information in the description box. Okay, Saj, let's get to it. Let's get to it. So... Remember what I said, if you, you're waiting for someone to come back, this ain't the video for you. Um, but I hope you'll stay and watch anyway, because I'm all, always grateful for that. So, uh, interestingly enough, underneath, and this is the, I'm using the Love Fairy and the Five Cent Tarot. Um, it, and this is kind of an ending energy, right? Let go of the past with friendly support. And then falling in love. Um, and then self-love is underneath that. So what I'm really feeling like and dreams coming true were was reversed. So I feel like some of you may be leaving a um, situation in love that didn't satisfy you. It didn't work out. Your dreams didn't show up here. And, you know, I actually feel like this falling in love and self-love is about you. Like, falling back in love with yourself, you know, um, because we do take a hit when things don't work out in love. It does. It affects us. It affects how we feel about ourselves a lot of the time. People can say whatever they want to, but it does. <laughs> and I feel like there have been maybe um, you've been having like a lot of support in terms of letting go of this person. Could be friends. It could just be some friends have really been there for you. Um, you know, cause it's hard, it's hard to let people go. So, okay. So let's get on with it, Sag, cause this is crazy. <laughs> um, it looks like it's going to be pretty spicy and I've seen before like two people being in the picture and we always see that with Sagittarius. Um, to be honest, if you're watching other Sag videos, you'll see a lot of that. And it's not always us, you know, we're not, it doesn't mean we're, Usually, we just get a lot of attention. It, it's just our natural, our energy attracts a lot of people. Um, you know, and underneath the deck was, and this was for the letting go of the past, was the Seven of Cups reversed with justice. Because, you know, there's a sense of, you know, this whole thing with this past person was just way too confusing. It puts you in too much confusion and maybe, you know, um, you know, you may have had a lot of fantasy tied up to this person. Like maybe you, you made them out to be someone, 
you know, it's that rose colored glasses energy, but you're no longer there. You're very clear on what you deserve justice, right? What you deserve. And maybe this was a karmic lesson, you know? Um, so what's coming though? We're seeing burning desire and fearless love. Like what the heck, Sag? And it's really interesting because um, I see conflict with this burning desire and a lot of peace with this fearless love. So let's get into it. Let's talk, Sag. <laughs> <laughs> so as far as this burning desire I feel like you might be meeting someone or you know that it's basically passion right I, I would say you know that is the basis of the relationship I don't want to put any you know I'm not saying hook up but I would tend to think that your connection to this person may be just sexual maybe just attraction. There's a lot of it, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of it, but, and I feel like it makes you feel like uh, overwhelmed for sure, but that's because you have to make a choice. Like, you know, it's kind of like one person wants love and one person you feel is mostly passionate. Because I, I'm not seeing any love here with this passionate connection. I, I'm not seeing any feelings more than desire. So you probably really want this person, right? But is is there anything more to it? You know, and I feel like that's where where the conflict comes in for you. You know, I feel like you do feel, um, they make you feel crazy because that's what desire does to us, right? Um but, and you know that there needs to be a decision that needs to be made. Um, but I kind of feel too, like you kind of like it. You, you'd like that out of control feeling. You want to feel it. You kind of like are in this energy of just enjoying it, not wanting to make a decision um, right now. You know, which is interesting because I feel like these people are coming into your energy at the same time. Because, you know, I asked if there was two people here and the five of wands came up. So there definitely is. And that is, that's your problem. You know, do I pick passion or do I pick love? You know, um, I feel like what, you know, it's kind of like, it's funny because I, I feel like this love person you really see possibilities with them. And there's a sense that they bring you peace. Like they make you feel good emotionally because the star is here, right? Um, but at the same time, I feel like you are wary because you are just leaving something. And this person goes head first into love is the sense I'm getting from this person. They rush into love. They don't care. They're not afraid. That's what, that's that fearless energy for me. And so, although, you know, you have a lot of hope tied up to this, definitely a lot of peace. Um, you're in seven of pentacles energy with it. You're not sure if you want to invest. And I kind of feel like this is because, um, because of, because they move quickly, because they, go in head first and you know maybe you just got off of being burned I don't want to be burned again right and you know where you stand with all this is nine of wands you know um nine of wands and the three of swords which kind of says that on some level you may still be getting over the past okay and maybe that's why you kind of enjoy the easiness of this burning desire right because it doesn't it doesn't ask very much of you to be honest um but you're you're once again showing up as the empress you know this is like the i think the reading i did earlier the empress came up a million times you know um about healing you're 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 really healing from all this pain and probably 
have been wanting to isolate or you may just be coming out of isolation and maybe you know this burning desire is what seems easier for you you know because i feel like this person who wants love i i kind of feel like they scare you even though they are kind of renewing your faith and love i feel like they scare you and the three of wands is on the bottom with the hangman and the emperor oh and the ten of cups wow and also the ten of swords and and the five of pentacles yeah you know what it's you're kind of on the fence you know with the three of wands you know you're getting ready to go into a new life for sure right a new cycle that's what the three of wands tells you um uh, but I kind of feel like you, something was kind of, you know, with the emperor here. And the emperor and the empress tend to be a committed couple. Usually it means marriage, right? But this is definitely where love went sour. Ten of cups to the ten of swords and the five of pentacles. And I kind of feel like you may be licking your wounds with that still, you know, um... Yeah, so maybe you are uncertain as to whether or not to, you know, definitely you don't want to jump headlong into love right away, right? I would imagine. So let's take a look at where this is leading you. Where is this leading Sagittarius? Where is this energy leading Sagittarius? And in the extended, I'll take a look at both of these people and the possibilities with them. Okay, Sag. So where is this energy leading, Sagittarius? Where is this energy leading, Sagittarius? Where is this energy leading, Sagittarius? Hmm. Temperance and the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you don't want to make a decision yet. I feel like you want to take take a time out. Yeah. The tower and the page of swords. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you want to take a time out and think about things. You know, I feel like you don't want to make a decision here. Or, you know, it's kind of saying that with temperance, you, you need to bring everything into balance before you can make this kind of decision. Kind of that energy is of, I'm just barely hanging on, right? What is the Page of Swords? Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. I feel like you just want to have fun. Because <laughs> overindulgence is here. But definitely while you, you are like not making any major decision and kind of holding back your energy a little bit. Here's the Hermit. You might want to have fun while you're trying to figure things out. Now, I know that's a contradiction in terms, right? Um, <laughs> with the hermit being here. And with the hermit, we usually, you know, pull our energy back. Oh, but yeah, see? Like, <laughs> you want some time to think about whether or not you're ready to invest in partnership. Uh, yes, with the Hierophant, whether or not you can actually, you know, especially when it comes to this fearless love. And I feel like you, 
you know what? You, you, you still want, are figuring out things. You're still figuring out what makes you happy. And I kind of feel like you just want to have fun. You just want to have fun. You don't want to get into anything too seriously. So, you know, you're not going to allow this person to pressure you, this fearless love person. And here they are on the bottom with the star, the two of pentacles reversed. And the, oh, like this is so funny, Sag, because this energy also showed up for this burning desire. I feel like both of them want you to make a decision. Because the star is here and that's that's the one who wants love. They want you to make a decision too. And they there may be a lot of pressure to make a decision. To make a decision. And I don't feel like you want to do it, Sag. I don't feel like you want to make a decision. So, you know. Let's get some future energy real quick. Future energy in this situation. This menage a trois. <laughs> what is the future energy? Oh. Eight of Cups reverse. Future energy. Ten of Cups. Hmm. Future energy. Eight of Swords. You don't know what to do here. Honestly, you want to make the best decision for yourself. The decision that's going to lead to your ultimate happiness. And I just feel like you just don't know what that is. For at, at, whenever this comes into play... You know, you don't know what that means. You don't know what that is, you know. Um, and, yeah, so I'm saying, you. I'm saying, Sad, you are not making a decision. You're not. You know, here it is again. Two of swords, two of pentacles, reverse, and the hermit. You're not making a decision. <laughs> to be honest, you know, and I feel like they're both kind of really pressuring you. Yeah, <laughs> yes. So if you want to know more about these people, check out the extended. If not, this looks super interesting. Sag and um, toodles. <laughs>